I am protected from all negative energy. I do not interact with it, play with it, and I am not in judgment of it, nor am I affected by it. I am a sphere of divine light. I cannot be penetrated by negative energy. My ancestors are with me. So I fear not, I shall. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Mystic Beauty. <clears throat> I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. For those of you guys that are new here, welcome. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome back. It is always a pleasure to have you guys here, all right? So, also you guys, I have restocked my money all, never broke again. Um, I'm so proud of you guys who have already start, um receiving amazing results. I'm talking about I'm reading some phenomenal, phenomenal testimonies um from you guys who has purchased my oil who took that risk and made that investment made that investment on yourself and yourself congratulations to you guys all right for those of you guys that are interested you can find the link in the description box or i will actually pin the link to my website the mystic shop online.com at the top of the comment section all right i have war oil this is protection all for those of you guys who are experiencing spiritual warfare and you need um, added protection, right? You can dress your candles with this. You can put this in your protection baths as well. You can put this on your hands, anoint, anoint your head, um, the bottom of your feet, your belly, the back of your head, wherever negative energy enters you, you can anoint your body with this, all right? So, and with the money oil, you put that on your body every day. It smells amazing. You can anoint your month, your your pocketbook, you know, your wallet, your purse, your debit cards. Just every day, it's a ritual. You do it every day. You dress your money candles with this as well. Put some in your bath water, and and it helps you to attract money. All right. All right. So. Let's go ahead and get into this reading and let's see what um, what spirit has to say. So it looked like there's someone who wants to return back to you guys. Someone who, who um, had you guys hanging on for too long. This person is lost without you guys. This person who is lost on their journey. I'm here lost on their spiritual journey. This is a lost soul here. This person want to return to you. This, this person made the wrong choice. I feel like they were lost for a very long time, though. So you guys could have been in separation for up to eight years for some of you guys. <clears throat> it looked like this person was very, very controlling. This person could have been kind of um, aggressive, violent, very manipulative and abusive energy here. Um, I'm hearing emotionally manipulative or very just abusive with their words. So if this person wasn't physically abusive to you. This person was just very selfish and very, you know, um, they verbally abused you guys. This is someone who I feel like they focus on the material world a lot. This person is always focused on money. Money is like the, the their idea of any project, right? They This person don't want to put their energy into anything or anyone if they're not going to get something out of it. This person is seeing you guys as the Ten of Pentacles. They feel like generational wealth comes with you guys. They, this person is viewing you guys as a, a, the best investment here. They feel like they gave up on you guys too soon. And you guys could have went through some type of glow up or spiritual glow up or you received some type of divine inheritance. And this, your blessings is leaving this person feeling defeated here. Yeah, it's like this person is see, they're seeing that they should have invested into you guys. This person is going through spiritual poverty right now. Yep, five of uh, swords is here again. This person feels defeated. They could have tried to defeat you and it blew up in their face. 
this is an empty victory that this person is experiencing right now. I don't know what they thought they were going to get out of betraying you, but, you know, all they got was a slap in the face by spirit. That's all they got. This person is like having to watch you guys be in the Ten of Pentacles energy. Watch you guys be um, blessed. Watch you guys settle into your new life. And this is causing this person great conflict. All right? You got 555 five, five here. That's, that's changed. This is like a, a tower moment that this person is experiencing in their life. This person tried to put you guys in competition or they could have, they tried to compete with you. This person tried to compete with you guys. They viewed you as some type of competitor. This person would clash with you guys all the time. This was a very annoying energy. You guys feel like this person was very annoying. You know, you wanted to work together with this person, but this person was very competitive. They wanted to compete with you. They argued with you. They fought with you. They they, they started arguments over the smallest things with you guys, you know? All right, Holy Spirit. Ooh, what is this? King of Cups fell out. All right. All right, so Holy Spirit, tell me about this King of Cups energy here. Tell me about this King of Cups. You guys, this person could have heavy water in their chart, but this person could also work in law for some of you guys. This person, this King of Cups energy, know that y'all have a lot of bad memories uh, dealing with them. Like, you are you don't have a lot of fun memories dealing with this person. And this keeps this person up in their head. This keeps them from communicating with you guys. Yeah, they, this person feel like they owe you some type of an apology collective. But they know you haven't forgot about what they did to you. This person know you haven't forgot about their lies and the deception and them being sneaky. Like, you didn't forget about this. And they know that you are up in your head about it or they think that you're up in your head about it. This, wow. <laughs> this, okay, listen. The king and the queen of cups is here. So this could definitely be um power couple. Um, energy, twin flame, divine partner, divine soulmate. This is a divine connection. But this this person is disappointed in themselves here because they allowed their pride to get in the way. Air sign energy here, possible Aquarius. They allowed their pride to get in the way, their arrogance to get in the way, and they lost you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you guys, this person, they are in despair, right? This person is very disappointed in, in themselves for letting you guys go, for betraying you. You know, this person is seeing you guys as their, as their perfect match right now. They feel like they should have invested in you guys. Yeah. This person felt like, I don't know, they should have held on to you. This person released you guys out of greed. Like they went towards someone else or something else that they feel like they could have gotten more possible Queen of Wands energy they, that, that they went towards. Somebody who was going to let them stay stuck and settled in their ways here. This person is also viewing you guys as very, very magnetic, um, very ambitious. Like you're, you, I mean, you are setting these goals for yourself and you are carrying them out. Like whatever you say you're going to do, you do it. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. This person feel like you're blessed. They feel like you're abundant. And they feel like, you know, you, you don't want them anymore because they were stuck and set in their ways, right? This person knows that they were very stubborn dealing with you guys. And they were also refusing to um, walk away from some type of third party situation or they put you in a third party situation here. Yeah, this person was refusing to make some type of decision. And I'm hearing self-examine. They were refusing to self-examine, examine themselves. This person did not want to examine themselves. So you guys were divinely guided to walk away from this person. You were guided to go head towards karma water. Yeah. You were, you were guided to go off and restore your spirit, restore your energy, recover from this connection. All right, so tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this person. Wow, this person very closed off. 
Yeah, their emotions are all over the place. This person's emotions are all over the place. This person is like, they can't breathe. They feel like they can't breathe due to their own deception. They deceive themselves out of this connection with you guys. They see you celebrating. They see you receiving these gifts from Most High. They see you guys being abundant, you know? Tell me my Holy Spirit. Yeah, rebirth, winter. You guys went through some type of rebirth this winter. And now, um, now you guys are in position of your divine blessings, right? You guys are about to be celebrating life, having fun, very, very, very abundant, spiritual, spiritually abundant. You know, a lot of you guys are still guarded. They know that you're still guarded from them. They know that you're not going to want to share this divine energy with them anymore. Yeah, you guys are focusing on self-care, your energy, healing your energy. This person was being controlled by a third party, a karmic energy here. They were definitely being controlled. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Venus energy here, an offer, right? Feminine energy here. So this person wants to bring some type of offer to you guys. You know, this person can't stop watching you guys. This person watch you guys a lot and they're tired of only being able to watch you guys from a distance. But they know that, you know, you guys have changed directions. You're not waiting around on them anymore. They feel like you may be dealing with somebody else. Possible air sign here again. Gemini, Libra, Aquari Libra, Aquarius. This person wants to speak their truth to you. They want to tell you the truth. The problems that you've already purged this person out of your system. You've already moved forward away from this person. They know this. Y'all poured y'all heart out to this person in the past. And, you know, this person, they didn't speak their truth to you. They wanted to tell you how they felt. But this person held back due to their own selfish reasons. They were dealing with somebody else for, I'm hearing financial purposes or something like that. So they never expressed to you how they felt. This person is ready to take action, right? They're getting the courage to come towards you guys and take action. Jupiter energy here. They want some type of new beginning. This person is very regretful. Very, very regretful. This person fell for some type of temptation. They deceived you due to some type of temptation. Temptation and this person is suffocating. This deception, this lie, whatever truth this is that this person has to tell you. They are suffocating. Look at this. Yeah, the rose-colored glasses are off. Y'all are no longer stuck in some type of an illusion. You see this person for who they are. You've grieved on your own. You have went through this suffering period. You know, you're no longer in this energy of lack. You guys are in an energy of growth, right? This summer is all about growth for you guys. You guys are going with the flow. All right. This person has, I'm here, they were struggling with their transformation. Perfect match. This shouldn't even be in this deck. So you guys are a perfect match to this person. And I feel like this is what they're realizing. This is what this person is realizing. Yeah, memories of nostalgia. This person is, is having heavy nostalgic memories about you guys. Ace of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very emotional. Very emotional over these memories. Every time they think about you guys, they get very emotional. Every time you cross their mind, I'm hearing, you know, you live rent-free in their head. This person is an emotional wreck. Every time they think about you guys, their chest, chest swell up, their eyes water, you know, because they let y'all slip away. Yeah, you guys reclaimed your freedom. You took a leap of faith. You guys are um, embracing these new opportunities here, you know? And this was divinely orchestrated to happen, faith and divine intervention. Yep. This, this distance between you guys was divinely orchestrated to happen. This way this person needed time and space to heal and transcend and ascend, you know? The chemistry that y'all feel for each other is still very, it's still there. It's still very real, you know? It's still very real. Yeah, apology. This person wants to come in and plant a seed of an apology um, for to you guys this spring. 
a masculine energy wants to do this. They want union. This person want to come in and nurture you, nurture the connection, and offer some type of commitment. Like, they want a family with y'all. Some of y'all, y'all going to have a little boy with this person, or you're supposed to have a son with this person. But listen, Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition. Um... Pay attention to what you're seeing in your third eye. But there is definitely some type of reunion that's coming between you and this person. You still have a soul tie with this person and you've seen it in your dreams anyway. You've already seen it. Let me get some final messages for the collective Holy Spirit. Yeah, look at that birth. Y'all can have a baby with this person. For those of you guys that can still have a child, um, birth. But this also talks about... Um, a rebirthing of something, right? It says universal energy brings opportunities and possibilities. And this is also a birthing of an idea, right? A passion uh, with the fire energy here. So you guys could be, you guys could be pregnant with a new idea, a new business, a new blessing. You guys could be pregnant in that way. All right. Final messages for the collective. Unicorn. All right. So success, hope, freedom, and healing and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Marriage, okay, look at this. Y'all gonna get married to this person. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. I'm here and believe in, believe in magic, believe in something that you may not can see right now. Cause this is about love. This is about two, two partners, two divine partners coming together. Love, love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So Spirit is saying, listen, move in love. And if you had to release this person, release them with love because they're going to come back to you guys. This is going to end in marriage, union, children. You know, Spirit is saying, listen, there was definitely some snakes on, on this path. You know, uh, your intuition and healing powers will guide you guide you to a better path. Just be careful. So Spirit is just requesting that you guys be careful and, you know, watch out for snakes on your path, right? Pay attention to uh, pay attention to who's coming off as a snake in your life and on your path. You guys are star seeds here. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Yeah, so you guys, I'm here and follow the North Star. The North Star is the North, your North Path, your North Node. So yeah, you guys are in the right direction uh, towards your healing, your ascension, your purpose, your mission here. And you ride this beautiful chariot all the way through, okay? You guys have a beautiful chariot here. Charge your head with confidence. Stay strong and focus. Wow, you guys are having a new beginning like the Phoenix here. This is beautiful. You're going to have a new beginning in your life in general. Fresh start. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you guys. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that when I post a video, you will get an alert. Love and light. Peace.